Good evening. Tonight, a local dentist is saying he will have to close his practice due to the controversy surrounding how he allegedly treats his patients. Concerned parents filled a town hall meeting to air their complaints about Dr. Howard Schneider. First Coast News' Ken Amaro tonight on the meeting and the money this practice is raked in from taxpayers. This is a meeting of alleged victims of Dr. Howard Schneider. They came together to share their experiences and listen to the experts. And they made a vow that together they will bring down this dentist. For weeks, Dr. Howard Schneider has been on the fire. And now the Attorney General's Medicaid Fraud Unit is investigating. This is an epidemic. Attorney John Phillips organized this town hall. We represent 30 children. Phillips says the complaints are all similar to those of D'Angelo Spector. They sat me down in the chair, strapped me down, and just had this tool thing he just put in my mouth and just started yanking my teeth out. Spector, now 23, claims he was mistreated by Dr. Snyder when he was five. It's, it's all true. In spite of all the allegations, there are no complaints against Dr. Snyder's professional license. Debbie Hagen runs Dentist The Menace Blog. It started after her experience with another dentist. Oh, I believe them. Absolutely, I believe them. I, I've heard their stories. Here's what you need to remember. Jason Moriarty has also heard their stories. He is a dental abuse lawyer. This guy is emblematic of a theory of dentistry that was out of date 100 years ago when we allowed blacksmiths to pull teeth. The state of Florida has paid Dr. Schneider $3.9 million from 2010 to 2014, $1.1 million in 2012, $1 million in 2013. Dr. Schneider told me if I made that, I worked, I earned it, I do not cheat. He said I have not done anything except treat Medicaid kids. They have ruined my reputation. He said I am going to have to close my practice. This isn't a new thing in his practice. Teresa Johns, another former patient, says she will not be silent anymore until Dr. Schneider is out of practice. This isn't a new thing in his practice. The fear and the uh, roughness has been ongoing for a very long time. Ken Amaro, First Coast News, NBC 12, ABC 25.